welcome back to all unknown law in this uh, video lecture i'm going to uh, speak about of uh, six uh, clinical features of cerebral edema this is really very important when you are in icus cerebral edema okay what are the six clinical features that you should remember remember these are six clinical features are very important okay uh, let's start with the first uh, remember when the child or the patient has increased muscle tone in the limbs there is increased tone in the limbs remember okay you are in the icu and you see is if there is a child if the child or the patient is on ventilator or he's sick looking and you are expecting as a cerebral edema could be the uh, what you call uh, possible work possibility is there uh, for example a dk so you can think of cerebral edema can uh, can be there right so if the child can develop so remember these things you should see uh, increased tone uh, then trismus so careful examination is really very important because we have to treat if we don't treat cerebral edema then it could be fatal okay then decerebrate posture decerebrate posture so if you google you will get the posture of the decerebrate okay so there is a remember there is one thing in this decerebrate is the e e e and e so most of the things are what you call uh, extended okay so you just google and you will see you will remember the what is the posture of the decerebrate from a decorticate the another one is the hyperventilation so patient will be hyperventilating remember hyper ventilation so you will get these things in uh, books okay so just uh, and the pupils will be dilated and are reacting poorly to the light remember they will be dilated not dilated and fixed they are dilated but poorly reacting okay sorry reacting Okay, another one important thing is I forgot to tell you is sixth one that is opistotonus. Opistotonus. Okay, remember these six points. One is increased tone, muscle tone, uh, trismus, decerebrate posture, hyperventilation dilated uh, pupils but they will be reacting and they will be poorly reacting and last one is the opistotonus okay guys thank you so much